So there's a lot of different tools out there, again, for the design aspect of things. Some different terminologies that we'll start here are things like topology optimization. So from a designer standpoint, we can take a product and then we can specify in the software the constraints, where it needs to be held, where the stresses are occurring, redesign it so that it has a completely new structure to it. And the, the bracket down on the bottom, you can see the new structure would be really difficult to manufacture that. So a lot of times you're saying, well, I know it's maybe a lighter weight and better performance, but how, how could I make that? It's a difficult part to create. So now we can open the window and start saying, well, well, we could print it. Another topic is generative design. It's a de design exploration technology. And what it does is it simultaneously generates CAD solutions based on real world manufacturing constraints and product performance requirements. So what that all means is basically I can put into the computer the constraints, I can tell it how I'm going to manufacture the product, and then I can tell it some of the performance requirements, and it will spit out a number of different design concepts and iterations that could all fit that bill. Autodesk was creating a swing arm for a motorcycle. So what they're doing right now, that green, is they're saying, hey, these are my constraints. This is where it's going to be fixed to the bike. The red, they're saying, hey, this are my obstacles. Don't put anything in this space. I can't have anything in this space. This is where it's going to be fixed. I'm going to start to apply my loads to the product. And then the computer will start to spit out different geometries that could fit the bill for what we just spec'd. So there's all the products that it could do. Then you can filter it down, just like you're filtering down your Amazon search. Maybe you say, hey, I only want a part that's three cubic inches, so it's going to filter it down. Then I want a part that is made in aluminum, it's going to filter it down. So you're going to filter it down to several different designs and then start putting it onto to the product and seeing which one has the best solution for what you're after. So these are the kind of things from a design standpoint that are going to change the way uh, we manufacture things.